Hey, hey, my crafty friends. I'm coming to you with a work it, uh, ways to work it Wednesday uh, with Trissy Reed Designs creative team. Um, this one spoke to me. I like literally as soon as she said that we could sign up for um, which activities we wanted to do. And I seen that um, large photos was on her agenda i was like yes please <laughs> since a lot of you know i am all about large photos and um why i have gotten larger albums and all of that kind of stuff so super excited about this um we are working on this beach photo of my son um running out to the ocean pretty much um my kiddos anytime that we go on a vacation that is like the first thing I mean I'm telling you especially when they went down to their grandparents house um literally like it would be like get out the truck put on a bathing suit and run to the pool um it's just one of their um things that they like to do when we go camping it is like yep uh we're gonna do as much as, as we have to do real quick to make our parents happy and then we're running to the you know to the lake or running to the pool or whatever it is um so i just wanted to tell that story um as this was a, a long car ride i still about 16 hours and that is literally all they talked about as soon as they got there um and then to them to find out they did not know how close the ocean was going to be to the hotel so once they found that out they were super pumped so all right, so this is what I'm using. Um, I'm using a couple of different kits just to get my embellishments. For the most part, I am using the Renewal Kit. Um, I felt like those colors were best. Um, the Sains were best um, for my little embellishments. I ended up going through and adding <clears throat> a few of Time to Thrive, I think, and... Yeah, Time to Thrive. So a few from Time to Thrive. Um, and just to get a few embellishments. Um, and uh, yeah, so what we're going to do here is I am working with a um, 6 by 8, 6.825. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Okay. 6.85 by 8.25 page so it is outside the page protector um my photo as you can see is just a bit smaller than that like um probably like a quarter of an inch smaller than that um just to give my photo somewhere to lay and then we are just literally making a border down this side and then um i am going to be used i haven't decided if we're going to use Looks like probably a medium Jane um, Alpha Stamps from L Studio. And I am probably going to use the side just to keep it nice and airy, the outline, um, to put probably like happiness or I haven't quite figured out my title yet. So um, I printed out some extra washi. My silhouette is just not being nice to me. So um, again, this is going to be a pretty quick and easy. This was pretty quick and easy to put together on the computer. Uh, just lots of layers and all that good stuff. So let's get started. All right, guys, so let's get started on this. My silhouette did cut out most of the embellishments. Unfortunately, I had forgotten a few over here. Um, so I will have to cut those out. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Always for a large spaces, you will see me use score tape. It is just, it is more um, stickier. It's it's a better adhesive, and on top of it, it is a lot less expensive than um, like your adhesive rolls. So whenever you see me doing large um, sections of adhesive, most likely I am using score tape. Um, I got a huge um, like pack of it off of Amazon. I believe I always have that linked in my Amazon shop, maybe even in the description below. I will make sure it's in the description below because it was, it, it, it's, I bought it like two years ago and I'm still going off of it. So I right, hear where I will cut this out, but of course I won't make you painstakingly watch me do this. 
I did um, just print off the long pieces of washi um, so that I can cut them down and use them in multiple spots. But honestly, all I did in Photoshop was right on the page, kind of just put these all down the side so I kind of knew where I needed the placements. And that is kind of what I'm doing. That first little banner, um, and then on some of them I wrote my journaling, and then some of them are like the sediments and like the banners that came in the kit. Again, I am using the Renewal Kit by uh, Tracy Reed. And I think a little bit of time to thrive is what it was. Um, I will link both of those. Um, I think I just kind of ran out of embellishment, like, you know, banner embellishment type things um, and labels and all that good stuff. Um, and one of the kids, obviously, I'm using a ton here. So uh, that first one just rings spring uh, Myrtle Beach of 2022 to give you, you know, the date pretty much. Uh, this will go in the this most likely will go in the travel album. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe this will go in our family album. I'm always conflicted on where spreads should go and I really need to stop trying to think so hard about it. But I'm um, just using all of the random types and trying not to think about it so much. This is where my brain kind of like isn't the best. Um, People are amazing at doing those clusters and just putting clusters together and being like, yep, it's good. And for me, I feel like I overthink freaking clusters and uh, embellishments so much that it just bogs down my process. Um, and I swear, I wish I could be one of those people that could just like throw together a cluster. Are you like that? Let me t just let me know. I mean, there has to be other people out there that just like like second guess themselves over and over again and then I watch other people just like throw clusters together like it's just not even a big deal <laughs> like tell it to you all right so here I am still um trying to put these all together um I had some washi tape that was regular I had some washi tape that was scalloped um yeah I just had a bunch of different ones that you're gonna see I think I changed that I think there was four washi tapes there together. And I'm like, no, that doesn't work. But anyways, um, I did put my journaling on labels, um, before I printed so that they're already there and I don't have to worry about them. Um, I do believe that it just says, um, you guys were so excited. Obviously this trip from Michigan to Myrtle beach, um, I believe took us 16 full hours. We drove through the night, which for me, that was ridiculously hard. I thought it was going to be okay. And yeah, that it just didn't work out. <laughs> it was much easier to drive back, um, through the day and just get it done. Um, I'm just not a night driver and that was really hard for me. Um, but yeah, they were so excited. So a 16 hour trip. And, um, so yeah, I think it says, well, I think I have it right here. Um, says you guys were so excited and, and the first thing you and your brother always do is put your suits on and run for the water it's so it is a Swedish joy to watch you have so much fun in the ocean waves um, and that is kind of every time we go on a vacation um, that is that's like the number they don't do much of anything and honestly it's okay <laughs> a lot of parents will be like no you need to you know unpack do something you know, it is just an exciting time. And I try when we're on vacation to, um, just let the boys have that joy. We don't get to go on it much. And so, yeah, they used to do this when we get to Florida, um, to their grandparents' house. Uh, the first thing they would bear, I mean, they would literally not even get anything out of the car. They would just get fine. They, they knew where their bathing suits were cause they'd put them in an opposite pocket and they would run in go to the, uh, run to the bathroom and run to the pool. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the car can be on back later. It's okay. So, um, again, just stacking all of these embellishments down the page. Um, you know, when you're using large photos like this, um, I do tend to try and make sure, I mean, there's pictures that I don't, that I fill the whole frame, but you definitely want to, you know, find that white space. Um, and white space doesn't technically mean it's white. Obviously the sky, the ocean, that is all technically white space that you don't need. Yes, I am covering up a few things, but those things are not the important thing in this photo. This is just a cell phone picture. 
Um, so yeah, my son is, you know, because everything is so bright, um, he is pretty dark in it, but, um, it's not a random child. <laughs> I'm like, I know that's canon running. I was really hoping I had one of both boys, uh, but I did, but it just didn't have as much white space in it to do this project. So, uh, we'll scrapbook that one later. I am just using the Barely Art Glue um, to put down all of my embellishments. Um, could I have used roller adhesive? Yes, but that roller adhesive sometimes uh, when you're on the skinnier things gets really, I don't know, random weird. I don't know. Um, and honestly, this gives me, a, the Barely Art Glue gives you a, just a few seconds of time to readjust things, move things, and just something that you don't get with the rolling adhesive. One thing that I probably would have liked to change um, is where I placed the um, title. Um, I did have happiness, as you'll see here in a minute, going all the way across, but it was going to run into my little guy. And then once I started placing happiness down, I was like, oh shoot, I should have moved it over just a little bit. But I do end up using the uh, Medium Jane Alpha stamp from... L Studio, like I mentioned before, one of my favorite stamps and even more favorite because it does have the die set um, and I don't have to fussy cut it out. <laughs> um, probably the best thing about it, right? Um, any stamp set that has the uh, die set to it is my favorite. So here we go, just using a scrap piece of paper to put that down. Always using scrap pieces of paper for this kind of thing. Um, I did go back and forth several times on maybe inking this paper before or using this. So this set has the outline and the, what do you call it? The full alpha, um, the inner <laughs> part of it. And I really did go back and like try and figure out if I was going to do both. But in retrospect, I figured like... <sighs> I don't know. I could have done the yellow, honestly. Um, I really did. I wanted to, I should have probably done the yellow. Um, but I didn't. So, you know, can't say too much. Uh, here is that I just got into dyes about a year ago. So if I'm doing this wrong or, you know, I'm not doing it correctly. Um, that's a huge possibility. I cracked the bajards out of this. <laughs> glass the first time I did it. It's not that serious. It is what it is. I'm not like a huge card maker. So here we go. I'm placing this down scene. I definitely wanted it to like be dancing around type thing. I definitely wanted it to be more playful, um, kind of mimic the other side, just not, you know, a straight line. Um, and I think the N and the I is where you start like getting that lap over that I don't know. It just doesn't look right. I don't know. <laughs> and then here we go. Yep. I'm like, oh, I have one more S to fit in there and I cannot. So yep. We're going to just stack it because I knew that I would like it stacked. Um, but and then here where I go to start gluing everything down, I didn't move it over. I kept it in the same about spot, right? Tucked on the edge that I would have had to do to fit it in the line. And I should have moved it over a little bit, but you know, it is what it is, and every page isn't going to be perfect. So I want to thank everybody for definitely um, tuning in. I super much appreciate it. Definitely go check out uh, the Tracy Reed Designs um, kits. They are absolutely amazing. Uh, she has a freebie uh, coming out here soon, and you don't want to miss that. It is gorgeous guys like absolutely gorgeous um we will be sneaking it all over instagram um so if you don't follow me on instagram definitely go on over there it is um create dot with dot k um so yeah definitely go over there i will leave the links below but thank you guys so much for being here definitely hit that subscribe button we are growing just slowly but surely but i'm loving it and i will see you guys in the next one talk to you soon bye